Hello fellow Tomb Raiders, my name is Video James, and we're back with Lara Croft Go. So, in the last episode, I thought we were going to finish because we were really close to the end. We didn't exactly, so today, we're just going to go ahead and get in, and I'm not going to say that we're going to finish today. Because if I say that, I'm going to end up jinxing it like I do with everything else. Because every time I've said we're going to finish something today, it's ended up taking another five days to finish it. So, we're going to finish this today. I just said it, didn't I? Okay, Universe, you didn't hear that. We're not going to finish this today. Instead, we're just going to get in and play. We're at the core of the mountain. That's actually the title of this level, is Core of the Mountain. So, let's see what we got. Um, I see a bunch of snakes, which I don't like. What's this way? Okay, a bunch of spiders. So, if I'm right, I need to do this. No, I'm not right, because I died immediately. Okay, um, I screw you. Let's try that again. Hold on. Okay, so I kill that spider. Got an idea. And my idea is, if I can manage to kill the spiders, then I might be able to quite possibly survive. Because that one lands right there. So if I do this, and then I go over here, and I hit this, and then I can pull this pillar down this way. And pull it down here to where it stops him from regenerating. But I don't know what to do about spider numero dos. So maybe if I just shoot you in the face. And pull this down. And pull that like that so that it's blocking you. Okay, there we go. Thank the freaking maker I was able to figure that out. Because, good lord, I would not have found that out in another trillion years. I need that spear to take out that snake, so white button, because that's a trap. Um, I'm not pushing that blue button either, because that's a trap. That yellow switch, that's going to trigger the boulder. But maybe it wants me to trigger the boulder. Blizzard to fall down onto the white. But he won't fall sideways. Because watch. Lizard's right there. And he lands on the white which triggers that boulder. And then the boulder goes right there. If I hit this red again, it does absolutely nothing. If I pull this out, okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have to be able to make it from that lever to the door in six steps. I can't hit that blue. Because there's two arrow sets, and if I step on that blue, it's going to get me from two different directions. Okay, hey, I figured it out. So the lizard followed me. Uh, basically what happened was, I triggered the boulder. Well, I triggered this, and then triggered the boulder. And then I came back around, and I came up. And when I came up, I got to this thing, and I pulled this thing back, I think, to actually... Or no, I didn't pull this thing back. I went back up there, and scared him. So now I should be able to make it out of here just by pushing this in this direction. There we go. Oh my god. That had me legitimately... This whole level has me legitimately frustrated. Just because of the fact that both of those areas are tediously like a death trap. They, they are basically death traps. Okay, so I'm killing you right away, because you're going to step on that blue the second you see me. You're dying too, just because you're a snake. Give me that plant or whatever it is. And get ten of the sacred beetle fragments. And all I'm missing is the horn. I fire, and I lost my spear. But do I need them? Okay, creepy voices. Okay, this is actually creepy. This is not okay. This sounds terrifying. 
Oh my god, it's like when you put on the ring and you hear Sauron's voice. And there's a spider just there watching me. There's one down there, too? It's doing some Monument Valley stuff. Oh god, there's shadows watching me. No. No, I don't like that. What'd I do? Caboose did it. They're frozen. Oh, they turned into statues. And fell apart. The Shard of Life. Ooh. Sparkly. Grappling hook! Wait, so that doesn't mean we did it. Does that mean we did it? We made it out. Hey, we did it! We did it! Oh, thank God. We're finally done with this. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, that does it for Lara Croft Go, apparently. Um, yeah, gotta say, I like this game, but at the same time, I absolutely want to rip it out of existence with the Infinity Gauntlet. I mean, don't get me wrong. Lara Croft is a good game, and I love the actual games and all the Tomb Raider games. But this one borderline tedious so many times that it was more Monument Valley than anything else. And it really kind of just offset the whole feeling. Because in Tomb Raider, you're able to just like move around and you've got like a 3D sense to it. But trying to apply that to a 2D world that's trying to be 3D is a little confusing. And there are definitely some areas in this where you'll forget what you're trying to do because the game will make it seem like there's no way out. It'll make it, like that last part with the three switches, that looked like there was absolutely no way out. And I had no clue if or how I was going to get out of there. And I honestly just, I was getting aggravated. I mean, again, I love the Tomb Raider games, but this one felt more like Monument Valley. And Monument Valley is, it's an okay game for what it is, but... The way it applies itself is it uses the odd terrain as kind of a physics puzzle, and nothing's ever stationary. Everything's always shifting, including the landscape. But with this one, only the stuff in the landscape is shaping instead of the landscape itself, and it's a little odd. I mean, I still like the game. I still really like it. I did enjoy it. All right, well, that does it for Lara Croft Go. We actually finished. We actually have no more levels. Um, I want to see the relics. I want to see how many of the relics I actually got. I got three out of the four pieces of the skull. I got the twin snakes. Wait, what does it say? Area 51 outfit. There's outfits? Oh, hold up. Hold up. There is outfits in this? You did not tell me there was outfits in this. You cheeky. You cheekies. Okay, where's that Area 51 outfit? I want to use that. Uh, complete the Gilded Skull. There it is. There were different outfits this entire time, and I had no clue. You cheeky little cheek. Get the Square Enix Universe Outpack. Is that like a Hitman costume? Uh, that's another universe outfit pack. And that's another one. Okay, what other ones did I not get, apparently? So I didn't get the Gilded Skull. I didn't get the Frozen Spider. I didn't get the Blood Salamander. I'm one short on the Necklace of Dreams. Where's the part that I missed? Is it, like, a gem in the middle? I'm missing one of the Sacred Beetles. Six out of six quartz, 19 emeralds. 27 out of 32 sapphires, 11 out of 17 rupees, or rubies, or no, is that, yeah, rubies, uh, 5 out of 7 topazes, 11 out of 13 obsidians, the atlas of beyond, and the shard of life. Is it just me, or does that kind of look like a crow's face now, that I'm getting a closer look at? It? Right, it kind of looks like a crow's face. Croft Go, again, 
I really enjoyed the Lara Croft games. Um, this one isn't my favorite. This one isn't my favorite of the Tomb Raider series, and it definitely isn't my favorite of the Lara Croft series. But I do still really enjoy it. If you guys want to get this game, I would highly recommend checking. Regardless, for now, I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, you can slap the like button as always. And if you enjoyed this series, give the like button another slap. And I will see all you beautiful people in the next one.